Hey guys, Hack Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to find memory addresses uh, from your PS3 games. So basically memory addresses, in case you don't know, are basically used uh, to modify your games with RTM tools or SPRX menus or whatever it may be. Uh, you know, the way you get mods is by finding the addresses that certain things are at, like maybe the speed of your player. Um, by finding that, you can modify the bytes at that address uh, to change the speed of the player. Or like, or in the same way you could get god mode or unlimited ammo or change your name. All those kinds of things. So everything has its own memory address and everything is essentially modifiable. So I'm going to be showing you how to actually find those memory addresses on your own rather than going on um, going on like next gen update and finding a thread with all the addresses which is totally fine I do that myself I don't think there's any point to spending a bunch of time finding addresses um, it's just pretty cool to be able to reverse engineer a game on your own so this is actually going to be kind of an easy way because we're going to be using something called NetSheet and I'll show you what it is it's a tool and uh, before I get started I have you know you obviously have to be on DEX for this because we're going to be using Target Manager and Debugger um, but essentially this really isn't all that hard as, you, as long as you follow along and you have DEX and you're able to connect to your PS3 with Target Manager, it's really not so bad. Um, also, you need to have a debug eboot in your game, so I'm going to be using MW3 today uh, for simplicity. So I have a debug, debug eboot in that game, um, so you could actually connect to it and attach. Uh, Alright, so let's get right in. First thing is you need to connect to your PS3 with Target Manager, as I am. What you would do is just click Connect. Which, I don't remember if I actually have a tutorial on Target Manager. I think I do, but if I don't, I might make an, a new one on how to install it and connect with it. Uh, but for now, if you already have it, good. Just connect to your PS3. Um, and then go inside NetSheet. I'll leave a link in the description. Alright. And upon your first time using NetSheet, uh, you have to change an option. So go to APIs and make sure you have Target Manager API selected. By default, it's on its PC API, uh, but this is not going to work. You actually want to connect to your PS3, so you'd have to double click on this, and then it will connect. Um, you can actually also use uh, CCAPI, I guess, now that I look at it. But you, but in order to actually like modify the memory addresses, you still need debugger. So anyway, um, let's get in. So now. Uh, we're using Target Manager uh, API, which it says down here. That's what's selected. So let's just go ahead and click Connect. So it's connected. Now let's click Attach. So now it's attached to MW3. Uh, and now in order to actually search for addresses, um, we're going to be typing in bytes, um, which I'll, I'll, I'll explain. So before you do anything, uh, we have a start address and a stop address. This is the threshold where basically it searches through, because there's lots of addresses but it'll search through, uh, from this to this and so we're actually going to change this to the the start address being 00900000 zero, 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 zero. so two zeros at the beginning then a nine and then five zeros and then the stop address is going to be zero, 01 or that's a two okay zero, 01 capital B capital B zero, 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 000 so we have a zero a one two Bs and then four zeros so this will just make things easier to find because it'll be searching through only a certain portion of the addresses. So you won't have like a bunch of uh, different things found. Basically, you'll see what I mean. Um, so you do want you you want to do this to save time and make it more efficient and easier. Um, so the first thing we're going to be finding is the address for your name. Um, so this is how you would use a name changer. Um, so how do we do it? First, it says type right here. It says one byte. Our name isn't a byte, it's, well technically it is, but we're going to be using text, it's really a string. Um, so go on your PS3, I mean, I'm in split screen, you could do this online, but I don't know, whatever you're doing. Um, and look at the name, so I'm in split screen, it says Archie, so uh, I'm just going to match the case, uh, it's case sensitive I guess, so I'll type it in, okay. Um, so now everything looks good, we typed in our name. Uh, match case, it says text, we're searching through here and all you have to do is click initial scan and click OK and basically it'll scan through these addresses to find Archie somewhere within there so there we got one and it's gonna find some more hopefully there we go, we have a, we have a bunch of them so one of these is the correct address 
I know for a fact that it's this last one because I remember the address. Uh, so I know we're off to a good start, but you wouldn't know from like from the top of your head. So how do we uh, make it? How do we like reduce it to actually just get the only like uh, only the the correct one? Okay, so open up an RTM tool. So I guess you'll see a sneak peek of my RTM tool that I'm making. I don't know if I'll release it or finish it. Um, but yeah, so just connect to your PS3, attach to the game, go to your name changer. Um, and go ahead and change your name to something, so I'll just go ahead and type tutorial like that and make it red. So if I set the name, you'll see that it says tutorial in red, good. So now let's just copy what it says here and then paste it into NetSheet because that's our new name, right? Um, everything else looks good, so all we have to do is click next scan. And it looks like it kind of froze a little bit. If that happens, just click new scan and initial scan. Click OK. It'll just refresh things. So it'll look for this uh, through these addresses. All right, so as you can see, we have actually quite a bit of them. But in this case, um, it still really isn't good enough. So let's just keep changing our name until we can clearly see the correct one. So let's just go ahead. I'll just do YouTube. I don't know, I'm green for some reason. So there it says YouTube in green. Copy this, paste it. All right, there we go. This is good now. Why? Okay, we still have multiple results, right? But there's one that sticks out, and it's this one. This is actually the correct one. And we know this is the correct one because all of these are actually wrong. They have this little carrot at the end of them, this upwards arrow. We don't actually have that. Okay, this is exactly what we have. The carrot to YouTube, just like that. We don't have the one at the end. So this is the exact one that we put in. And in the same time, it's the correct address, 01BBBC2C. Uh, how can we confirm? First, we could just go ahead and copy it and go inside um, a thread that has all the addresses. Let's just, here, let's just delete everything that's not the address. So as you can see, there we go. Change name, offset, that's the one we found, 01BBBC2C. So cool, we found the correct address. Um, great, we're off to a good start. Uh, what, what can you do with this? You could use this for your RTM tool, uh, like I said before. Um, so yeah, we just found our first address, that's pretty cool. Uh, next, I'm going to be showing you how to find the ammo address. And you're actually going to be able to use Debugger to directly um, change the amount of ammo in your gun um, just from, from scratch, like manually. So let's just go ahead and delete this. Uh, first, let's start up the game. Just click Start Game. Alright, starting. So while starting, um, change. First, go ahead and click New Scan. And this will erase everything. So it says Type Text. We want to go back to one byte because we're going to be searching for a number, the number of bolts we have in our gun. Uh, this is fine. Um, let's disable hex and just put in 64, because we always start out with 64 bolts. So I'm actually going to go into the game. Okay, well, now we have 100 bullets, unfortunately. I meant to do a different gun, so let's just go ahead and put 100. Okay, 100 bullets. And let's go ahead and do an initial scan. And we have a bunch of results. As you can see, we have a value here and a, a decimal value here. So a decimal value is like, um, the, like the number that we say. We say 100. But on a computer, it's really um, in hexadecimal value, which is 0x64. Um, but yeah, so it found all of these. So we need to narrow it down. How are we, we going to do that? Fire a few bullets. And then reload. I really regret taking this gun. Okay, so we have 87. So just go ahead and put in 87. Do a next scan. Now it's a lot more limited. Maybe it'll be more. Yeah, so there's not a lot. But let's just go ahead and keep going until we have only one. Because in this case, we're actually going to end up with only one from my past experience. So fire some more bullets. Reload. 
Now I have 83, so type in 83 and click next scan. And look at that, we have only one left. Cool. Uh, so we could go ahead and copy it, go up here, control F, paste it, erase everything that's unnecessary. As you can see, primary weapon ammo clip, or clip ammo. So we found the correct address. As you can see, it's on this thread, so that's good. And now we could actually directly, um, without using a real RTM tool, we could just directly edit the memory with debugger. So how are we gonna do that? Um, let's go ahead and control F. Let's just copy what we have. So that's this address. So go into debugger. Um, we don't need this anymore. So debugger, and this comes with um, with Target Manager. So what we're gonna do is we're connected with our PS3 using Target Manager. So this is connected to our PS3. So what we're gonna do is where it says address, just go ahead and paste the address you just found, and then click this uh, refresh button, and it'll find what it has, okay? Um, that's the address for ammo. And as you'll see right here, the first value, 53, that's the hexadecimal form. So if we go in here, that's what it says, that's hexadecimal value of uh, 83. Okay, so 83 in hexadecimal is 53, so that's correct. We have 53 or 87 bullets. So to directly edit the memory, all we have to do is just change this value 53. So let's say we want 100 bullets again. Um, then we would put in 64 to have 100 bullets, because 0x64 is equal to 100 in decimal form. So um, let me just get this up. Okay. So, if you look at how many bullets we have, we have 83. But if we want to get 100 bullets back, we just type 64. 6, 4. And now as you can see, we have 100 bullets. And we just, we just modified the memory in real time. So what we just did is basically, this is real time editing. This is what a real time editing tool does, real time modding tool, whatever. This is exactly what it does, except we just did it manually, straight through a debugger. So as you can see, we have 100 bullets now, we could fire them all. Right, we could reload. These aren't fake bullets because if we reload now, we'll have more than just 83, we'll have 93. So it's back there. We could keep adding bullets, like we could go FF. That's, I think that's the most we could actually add in 255. I'm not sure. So 255 bullets, cool. Uh, you can't really give yourself unlimited ammo just using debugger. That's where you actually have to use some coding in. Um, C sharp in an RTM tool or SPRX menu, uh, but this is only going to actually change the value there. It's not going; it can't make it unlimited. But nonetheless, we just re if you were able to do this, congratulations because you're able to reverse engineer MW3 so that you could directly access its memory and modify it. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you were to know C++ or something, this stuff would all make sense because it's a big part of C++. So it's a great language to know where you actually work with a lot of memory editing or basically any uh, programming language um, deals with memory management but something like C++ you actually have control over it so I recommend learning that plus SPRX menus are coded in C++ so it's a really great language to use um, yeah I hope this was helpful I hope this you know helped you figure out how to actually get uh, find the memory address um, any, any memory address in the game um, I'm, I believe you could just do it using debugger on its own or whatever, I'm not so sure, but whatever it is, it might be a harder way. This is essentially the easiest way to find the memory addresses in your game by using NetCheat. So yeah, thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful, uh, see you next time.